who was the serpent in the Garden of Eden? Because we all know that it was not a slivering, talking serpent serpent, right? A lot of people believe that the serpent was Satan. But if we connect all the stories, Satan was Archangel Samael. That's another story, and I will get into it later on. And he will have his own playlist. So, if Satan didn't exist yet, and it wasn't Archangel Samael, because Samael had a love affair with Lilith, the first woman, not Eve. He had nothing to do with her. Another view of the story is that the serpent was Enki. Enki is from the Sumerian Anunnaki scriptures, the Emerald Tablets, and basically this is how the story goes from that perspective. Enki is a half-serpent being. His mother is from Sirius B, which is the planet of mermaids and feline races. That does not mean that there is not a half-human, half-serpent being that also lives underwater and on land. In several stories, we've seen these creatures. Mythology is full of them. All mythology stems from original stories. The most ancient stories are the Sumerian scriptures. Even the Bible took its stories from the Sumerian scriptures. They just twisted names around and changed things to fit their narrative. Enki is the creator god, the one that fashioned human. He's a genius scientist. His half-brother Enlil is more of the vengeful, wrathful god. And so the Bible took these two people and mix them into one. And that's why he seems bipolar at times, because first he loves people, and then he wants to wipe them all out. People are precious to him, but then he, wa but then he wants to eliminate them all in the flood. Be gone. See what I mean? This version of the story goes that Enki wanted to save humanity, and therefore gave Adam and Eve knowledge. Knowledge on how to procreate, knowledge of just factual things. We have Enlil that actually is the mean god that did one day become Satan. But he tricked people into believing that his brother Enki was the bad one, the one they call Satan. So there's all of this to consider also. So one version of the story says that Enlil wanted to wipe humanity out and so Enki was liberating Adam and Eve with knowledge, telling them about their full potential, because technically, us humans have the potential to be superior even to the Anunnaki gods. Last version is that the serpent was Lilith. Lilith is a hybrid being that is half human, half serpent, half reptilian. Nevertheless, in several cultures all across the world, she is depicted by being this beautiful woman on top, raven black hair. From the waist down, she is a serpent being. In Greek mythology, she is known as Lamia. Uh, then she became Medusa. The serpent is always about her, and the serpent is always about Enki. In fact, Enki has particular affection for Lilith. And then in the different stories during the years, we see him always checking up on her and making sure that she's okay. In fact, when he saw her as Medusa, he was like, good, good, that will protect her. Good, good. Oh, she formed scales that are like armor. Great protection. Oh, great. She has a defense mechanism to turn people to stone with her eyes now. That in reality was a curse, but he was saying good, good, because she would be able to defend herself. Since everyone wanted to kill her to become this big hero at the time. And we're talking about Greek mythology periods. So going back to Lilith. Why is she the serpent in the garden? Well, very simple. If you go back in the book of Lilith, in the playlist, you will see how Lilith stayed with Eve an entire day and educated her. Not only did she seduce her, kiss her, and they kiss for the longest of time, but afterwards she explained how the forbidden fruits of the two trees growing in Eden were never forbidden. 
She told her that she would not die if she ate from them. She explained how outside of Eden there was freedom, making Eve realize that she was a prisoner in this garden. Beautiful garden, but still a prison it was. So I believe this is where the story comes from. Since Lilith is shapeshifter reptilian hybrid being, it would be normal to attribute her to have been the serpent. Because in fact, in the Anunnaki scriptures, I never see that Enki goes and tells Adam or Eve these things. But in the book of Lilith, that is almost identical to the Anunnaki scriptures in every other way, she explains how she was feeling lonely, went back to Eden, ended up talking to Eve behind Adam's back and explaining things to her. She educated Eve. Next thing you know, Eve has taken down the system, has eaten from the forbidden fruits, had, had Adam eat from the forbidden fruits, and at the end of the day, were they kicked out? Or did Eve orchestrate and plot the entire thing to get out of that prison? Thanks to Lilith, she educated her on what the true potential was. Based on my research, I believe that the alleged serpent was Lilith, the serpent hybrid being. She was actually the only one for two reasons. One, she wanted revenge because they took her child away that she had with the angel when she left Eden. And therefore, if you're going to take my child, then let me mess up your little situation you have going on here. So one, it was out of revenge for the decisions of the angels of the creator to take her child away. And second, to liberate women, the divine feminine within her, the creatrix, as Shaddai that she felt so connected with it was also very connected to the earth to the elements there was no separation between her the wind the fire the sky the ocean the waters she's a complete being so for me it just makes sense that the knowledge came from lilith she had ulterior motives and also wanted to take down this patriarchal system that was in place that allowed her child to be stolen away. It all makes sense.